A tourism train that gives passengers a whirlwind trip around Taiwan is back. And this year, it's Disney-themed. Ten carriages have been decorated with all of Disney's most popular characters in a makeover designed to attract both young and old to the mobile attraction. The hurried traveler can make a speedy trip all the way around Taiwan's coast in just one day. As international tourism returns to Taiwan, the Taiwan Railways Administration hopes the tour train will be a major selling point for travelers. The train's services run from now until the end of June. A familiar musical number heralds the launch of the island-wide dream train. The tourist train has got a makeover. Carriages are decorated inside and out with Disney characters to enchant children young and old. Here in the Chippendale dining carriage, you can not only get hot food, but also limitless drinks refills, so you can dine while admiring the view out of the window. I think they've done the dining car in a very special way. They have Disney-themed meals. The karaoke carriage is pretty special too. Aside from lots of spots for photos, passengers can also search for Mickey's head hidden around the carriages. The round-trip tour train is now entering its 15th year. Formerly sponsored by Hello Kitty, it's now reincarnated as a Disney train with 10 themed carriages. Tickets can be booked until early June and TRA hopes to attract passengers of all ages. I can say with accuracy that profits this year will certainly be excellent because it's such an attractive product, even for older people, myself included. I love it. For January and February, we expect to sell 80 to 90 percent of the tickets within the next week. In the coming years, we think families are an important demographic. We hope this theme will allow us to bring in more than 20,000 foreign travelers. TRA is hoping the train will be a windfall as foreign tourists return to Taiwan this year. They also hope the train will link up many different local attractions and help rejuvenate Taiwanese tourism post-COVID.